kidding. I filmed well. All right, let's go live. <laughs> And they can hear us speaking, so be careful. Not, be, yes, be careful not to speak during the beginning of. Oh wait. All right, folks, we are starting now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. <laughs> hey, folks, this is Vincent Schilling, and welcome to my YouTube channel show, Native Guy whatever I call it. I, you know, I don't have an official name yet. I got to be honest with you. But <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, yes. And I know Jan is talking. No, and that is not just her poster talking. She's going to be on here in a second. I'm doing the uh, gracious introduction and she is here with me now. So she, she can talk as much as she wants when the poster's up. I'm just saying, hey, if you guys have not seen Rutherford Falls yet, Get with that program because I've probably binged it like 12 times now. Uh, it is awesome. I was talking to a couple of my uh, my friends today who I had suggested see it, and they were like, oh, my gosh, dude, you were so right. It is an incredible show. But look, this it's even more so about Ruth, Rutherford Falls. It, it's about Janish meeting. And uh, if you guys could tell me, make sure, uh, is is everything okay? Can you guys hear me? Is everything okay? Is the sound okay? I just want to make sure. Please feel free to let me know in chat. I have done a lot of research in the background. Is it too low? Someone said it's too low. I can't turn it up. Is it really too low? Sounds great. Delora says sounds great. Okay, someone was messing with me already. I love you guys. <laughs> I love Indian country. So, okay, look, we can look at the poster all day, but who, who do we really want to see? We want to see Miss Jana Schmeeting. So let's bring her on. Here she is. It does sound great, darling. All right, fantastic. Well, Jana, here you are. And hey, so so tell us, where are you? How's it going? How are you feeling? How, how's things going? Uh, love the glasses. Look at Sharp. Um, and your show is phenomenal. <laughs> Thanks, Vince. I mean, as our token biggest fan, <laughs> I expect nothing less than um, just pure unadulterated fandom from you. <laughs> um, I am here in Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, having kind of a, 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 a regular... Okay, go ahead. Dolores is, Dolores is checking in to tell me the sound is okay. Yes. It, yeah, and oh my God, you look gorgeous. And my wife said, oh my God, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Dolores. <laughs> she said, are you a professional makeup artist? Wait, what happened? So she just, she had to come in no. and, and tell you that. So. <laughs> thank you. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I, okay. I, I had a couple interviews today. Normally, I would not be wearing any makeup, but um, I did uh, some interviews for my alma mater, University oh. of Oregon, which is why I'm wearing my um, Oregon duck oh my wearing gosh, a roach you, And you made uh, that, didn't you? Medallion. You made that, didn't you? No, no, no. I did oh, okay, okay. I actually, I bought this from uh, a beater uh, on Instagram, you can find them at Beating Behind Bars is an imprisoned native person oh, who wow. uh, beads to make money for their commissary. Holy moly, um, that's incredible. Yeah. Really? Do, do they do custom yeah. stuff? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, 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 I want to reach I, out. I, I want to reach out. The... Have them do a native nerd one. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll, I'll help his commissary or, or his or her commissary. Native nerd, you know, I have a little whatever. 
I want to support someone yeah. like something like that. That'd be amazing. Absolutely. That'd be amazing. Yeah, they're ama- incredibly talented, as you can see. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's uh, the puddles, the duck, and wearing uh, a men's, like, grass dance roach. That, that is so cool. That is so cool. So, oh, my gosh. So, those of you who don't know, um, me and Jana, what was it, two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks, right? I think it was two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah. Okay, two weeks. We did it. We did an Instagram live. And if you missed it, I'm really sorry because it was hilarious. We were dying laughing. We were like, we were like doing ha- high fives with the Instagram cuts, and 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 I like showed my like I had a bare foot because I had been wearing flip flops, and I'm like, it was just ridiculously <laughs> hilarious. Jana was like, I have pajama short shorts on. We were all just laughing, and then the video didn't save at the end, so we were just like, oh man. Um, Sierra was like, dang it! You know, so we were really appreciative um, that in that, Jana says, hey, you should do your own show. But you suggested it. You said it. And I was like, gosh, you know, I never thought of doing a talk show. And so... You know, and I think that this gives me maybe executive producer credit. It, it I'm not does. sure, Vince. And, and executive I believe produ- that, like... <laughs> Some, if not most, of the proceeds from this free, very free show hey, you know should what? I do actually have a, come yes, to me. Yes, you know what? All right, all right. If anyone, if anyone, okay, I think I have Super Chat enabled. The next Super Chat goes to Jana, all right? I will, I will PayPal you whatever the next Super Chat is. If someone throws me... <laughs> What super chat? <laughs> it's it's I had to look, in tongues. Look, look, I had to do all look, I had to do all this research on YouTube because I do know about YouTube, but they have super chat, they have memberships now that are like Patreon, and they have super uh-huh. emojis and stuff. But if you do super chat, people can pay a dollar or like five dollars or like ten dollars and then be like the top comment on your super chat. So if anybody oh. does it, I will if someone super chats me or gives me a super chat donation, I am sending it to Janet. There you go. That's where it's going. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I'm sticking to my word. If someone donated like 500 bucks, I'm telling you, I, I would keep my word. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, and when I get it, I'm donating it right back into the community because I don't need that money right now. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so here we are um i i've been really excited um to do this but also a nervous wreck because i you, you don't know how technical here here i am supposed to be mr technical guy i'm native nerd i write columns on nerd stuff you're supposed to know all this and live stream is like 10 times worse than all the things i've done in terms of technical I mean- stuff I was just like, <laughs> in my in my current experience right now, I do feel like I am living in a simulation. This is wild. I see myself <laughs> twice on my phone, but then I got my iPad. I'm watching the live stream on delay. I mean, this is this is a next level for even me. So I applaud you and your technical oh like uh, I don't know, just everything you're doing is just oh beyond God. our ancestors' wildest <laughs> dreams. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Oh well, my gosh! And, and this funny is, is because I can see. Look, look. If I counted all the images of me and you, I could see here's here's one of you, two of you, three of you, four of you, five of you, six of you, because of all the monitors I have up, and I have four of me. So I'm actually watching it. I have two chats up. I'm looking at the chat here. I'm looking at the chat here, and oh my gosh! You know, honestly. It's a blast, and 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 I really, really, I'm telling you, I studied so hard, and I like stayed up till three in the morning for like ten nights trying to figure this out. I dealt, asked my friend JJ, really, really cool guy to help me out, and oh my gosh, here we are. So here we are now. So all right. Okay, well, is this a weekly thing? Are we gonna you know, am, like? Are you? Do you have like a lineup? I what, don't know. What are we I'm, doing? I'm, I'm, I'm the EP of this project, I don't know. and I need I don't to know. know. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating with Welcome n- to show, man. man. <laughs> I'm sweating with nerve. I'm like literally sweating with nervousness. I'm like, okay, I got it. Like I have been building up to this for two weeks and I'm like here and now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm here. So now what? Uh, you know what? I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? How often should we do this? Because uh, Del Del and I 
for a long time had a Native Trailblazers radio show. And it was on Blog Talk Radio. And we had a blast on Blog Talk Radio. It was so much fun. We had some of the funniest shows ever. And we're like, you know what? That's tired. You know, I bless you. Bless you, Blog Talk Radio, for the people it works for. Bless you. I'm not trying to cut down any company. It's it's wonderful, and it, and it serves its purpose for, for their clientele. Great. Fantastic. Sure, spill the tea. Yeah, spill no, really. But for us, we are growing. <laughs> we are growing. And I ripped out my earbud because I was excited. <laughs> Getting sassy over there. But we were excited. And so now we're going to do Native Trailblazers on YouTube. We're going to import some of our programs because we interviewed, my God, Wayne Newton. Michael Gray Eyes has been on the show. Uh, we've had uh, some really incredible, amazing folks on the show. Over five years, we did like 500 shows, 10 years of shows. And we did, it was amazing. But now it's time to move. Now it's time to come into YouTube. This is a blast. It's really fun to say hi to you, to see you, who, uh, Jenna, as much as I'm being silly and having fun, you are really incredible and inspiring. Do you know today, uh, I, I, yes, darling, my wife, if, 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 if woman talks, <laughs> the, the Mohawk guy <laughs> stops. I get it. See, Jenna, I know she appreciates that. Vincent. Appreciates what? Wait, we're at a 30 second delay. We've already said something else besides that. We've already moved on. What happened? I don't care. We go back. <laughs> we go back if I said we're back. Uh, I, love, just, I okay. love this, um, this Dolores fine. character she coming in and having, adding like, an element, an off screen element to the show. This is what I like what? as an EP of the show. I'm enjoying this aspect. She's, she's already the EP of the show. <laughs> I'm fine with that. We are fine with that. Hey, I mean, you know, Janet, you know let me ask watching. you something. Janet's so, the first guest, and she's the BBC You will guest. always be the first guest. And she can do whatever she Historically, wants. you will always be the first guest. Forever. I love being the first guest. Forever. Well, you are. In, uh, I say. Oh, yeah, so, okay, so here's so here's what I was and, saying. And the Native women are ganging up on you. Native women are out. ganging up on me, and, I, and that's, that's, that's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll survive because <laughs> I've had to survive my whole life this well, way. You, you, you lived in Compton your whole life. I did. I did. I did. So I, did. I lived literally on Compton Boulevard. <laughs> I did. I got my bike stolen like 20 times a week, but that's okay. So. <laughs> yeah, when your bike would get stolen, what would you say? <laughs> so, what would you say when you bike did, She needs a microphone, doesn't she? And the other, doesn't she? Need she sure does. She Why does. is she off screen? I don't know. I don't know. She's, She's running the show here. Okay. So, I will. I'll set it up for next for next week. We'll do it. I will. So, so um, here's, some, here's I something. Here's something. Okay, go ahead. I want to say, I want to talk about real quick Ed Helms and how great. Let's talk about Ed Helms and how great he is. Yes. Yeah, because I just wanted to say, um, Jana, first of all, you are amazing. I she mean, is like amazing. Complete, you are amazing. You two yeah. together. A shining you. light you of the Rutherford Falls. are magic. Magic. Complete magic. Magic. Thank you. Incredible. Incredible. And, you know, I think what Ed has done is amazing. You know, the way he is is incredible. Stop laughing. She's at laughing. She's laughing. She's <laughs> laughing. She I'm not. I'm not, not laughing. laughing. I'm I'm not not this is just, it's like, it's like a ghost talking. Can you just... <laughs> Doors, get in the, in the camera. She, she, does, she doesn't want to. Unless you want to come in the camera, you can come in for a second. If you, I no. only do this. <laughs> there she is. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's awesome. the real EP. Yes, exactly. So, we so love yes, we do. She She's amazing. So here's something that's really cool and you know it's funny because we have been doing this for 10 years and our energy is so f my wife is so fun and her energy adds so much and the people i talk to in indian country are such a blast and you are absolutely at the top of this list but i want to tell you something really cool that happened today about you and uh um, oh boy yeah it's really really cool so uh maybe no it's a very positive happy thing so if you can feel confident okay. in a good good nice way so, okay. are you familiar, folks out there in Indian country, with Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan? Lieutenant Governor, Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan, yes. Very high ranking, you know, second in command to the governor. She is um, up there with really doing amazing things for Indian country as a woman leader. And she wrote an editorial today in Indian country today that I posted. 
and she talks about it's time for people it's time for the world to see women right and she's talking about the things that she's done and the things that she uh has put out there for mmiw and legislation for missing and murdered indigenous women which we in indian country talk about quite a bit and if you are an ally or you're not in indian country or not familiar with mmiw we, um, Indian country has very high rates of missing and murdered indigenous women more so than anywhere else. And it's, it's, it is uh, something that's very, very serious that many, many of us in Indian country uh, do the best we can to spread awareness about. So she was talking about this today in her op-ed. And she's talking about the things she's doing and how important legislation is. And at near the end of her op-ed, she says, as I'm sitting here in my kitchen writing this opinion editorial, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, of course. She says, my daughter is in the other room. I think she said her eight-year-old daughter. It's, it's, it's in Indian country today if you want to go to look at the op-eds. And she says, my eight-year-old daughter is in the other room watching Rutherford Falls. And she's watching Janish meeting right now and has something to be inspired by and that Aww. hit me jenna that hit me like a ton of bricks because as we as we have shared before in a previous interview i said i can't imagine being that young kid seeing a native person you know so you know as much as we're being silly and having fun and and i'm really excited that you're here and it's, and it's fun to talk to you you know, I still want to ask you how something like that feels. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's overwhelming. It's just, you know, I, I feel constantly overwhelmed uh, in this experience. And, um, and also just so happy. I'm just really thrilled that, uh, like Peggy said uh native women are getting some shine um in mainstream spaces and and i think that we're making moves you know in entertainment but also in politics and also in education those are the sort of the um yeah three big uh, spaces where we lack visibility so mm -hmm. It's really exciting to see um, the momentum that we have right now. And I hope that it isn't, I hope that it uh, gains some stamina and, and it's just like, you know, increases. And that I, I hope that we can uh, get out of the sort of the language of having a renaissance. I think that like, it's really easy to call what is happening right now, like a native renaissance. But mm -hmm. I had this conversation recently with Ava DuVernay and yes, I, uh, I saw that, she, which was really a privilege and honor for me. Um, I, I'm a huge follower of, of her work and I never thought I would be able to actually interact with her. And yeah, yeah. she said, um, I asked her what kind of tropes uh, is she over um, around in, in media and entertainment, um, like, you know, tropes that are played out or tired. And she said the trope of having renaissance, having a renaissance is she's tired. She said, I'm tired of that. Mm. She said, a renaissance. Now wait, now what kind of, what that, kind of renaissance? Like I'm thinking like when I was a kid, my mom well, used to take me to the renaissance fair. <laughs> That was oh, awful. Those will always be around, whether we want them to or not. I was like, oh, oh. God. Not again, <laughs> Mom. Please stop. <laughs> no, I know you like it, uh, but I don't. Thanks, <laughs> you'll eat your turkey leg and you'll enjoy it. <laughs> now, put on this vest and these nippers. Yeah. Um, and don't look over there. That guy's <laughs> thing is too short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, what she meant is just like the implication that a renaissance means that we're having this like moment, this wellspring of, um, you know, this um, this moment for art and culture mm -hmm. this explosion. But it also implies that that will then again one day die down, and that mm -hmm. and you know, I when I was going to call, I oh, I, I started college in two thousand, the year two thousand, oh. and. There was a discussion in 2000 about a, a native renaissance in lit. 
literature at that time and I remember being like oh okay well, I guess we're having a renaissance but <laughs> she's right what we need is just to have a sustained like visible art and culture uh structure in our yes. world that uh highlights indigenous people exactly. and gives us a space to to I mean we we've already built these spaces for each other but uh an opportunity it having more mainstream eyes on our work means a lot of things it means more funding it means more backing it means uh uh, uh you know that we just get a wider audience and and I think that's good for everyone yeah yeah and because you you kind of brought it to me in a way that I'm like oh gosh you know because if we think about native history and a, a renaissance related to native history or, or or any kind of history is there such thing as a history of like a white renaissance history no it's been there you know what i'm saying history has been that history. exactly history has been that history since you know the founding fathers like they were like we're gonna be history now we'll be history in 2021 you know and the thing is is you think about it you think about this history and it's like how much have you learned in school about native history how much in school have you learned about black history? How much in school have you learned about Asian history, Muslim history, LGBTQ2S history? None. Yeah. Everything is yeah. white history. Everything is white history. And it's like, yeah. you know what? That doesn't need to be the renaissance. You know, native history should not be a renaissance. Native history should be native history forever and talked about just as much as everything else. So, you know. Um, yeah, that, that was kind yeah. of an interesting tangent. I don't know what happened, but that's just where I went. <laughs> God, we just get really fired up about history, don't we? Well, I <laughs> here hate, on the Vince show. Yes, well, I Native America, Native Trail America show, show, whatever. We still <laughs> yeah. we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pitch guys. We're gonna figure out a name though. here. Yeah. I, I, now I said last <laughs> week, you know, it could be like. You know how they had that movie Dead Man Walking? It could be like Native Guy Talking. But then I don't like the guy thing because I don't want it to be, you know, gender specific. You know, I, I don't know. So we, I would love you guys. So look, you guys are putting some wonderful comments. I haven't had a chance to look at any of them yet. What'd you, what happened? What happened? What were we doing? What's going on? I can't miss it. What, Vincent's Dimples, Dolores. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see okay no fair all right so uh i love the variety of native women on rutherford falls yep that's absolutely uh, um i think you're absolutely fantastic you're one of my favorite actresses now another cat lady i relate to you truly you're real inspirational to so many women and that's erica b and then lance a says mockers and renaissance um and uh okay i can't read vince's can't okay, okay okay great so uh yeah let's talk about the the different characters on um rutherford falls like they said the native women that's something to address so how, how does it feel to to be representing in that way it feels awesome D dolores came in dolores she says she, dolores says she was inspired by Jana, so she's got to come in come on in <laughs> oh yes. yes I got the glasses. I got the lipstick now. <laughs> I'm saying this is how inspired Why I, have a bold lip? I am. And you know what's messed up about lipstick, and you know what I'm gonna do. What's messed up about oh, lipstick? Oh no, you're go ahead. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, Jenna? go ahead. Go ahead, darling. Yeah, I do. Go ahead. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Thank you, darling. Oh, yeah. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. And somebody's really inspired by Jana because of the cat lady thing. Oh, yeah. Very inspired. Um, she's okay. only 32, and she's like, I so get it. And Okay, great. So I'm going through. Oh, so go ahead. So we were asking about the, nat the, <laughs> the complexities of Native women characters on Rutherford Falls. Yeah, I guess, you know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of different women on the show and everybody kind of shines, has a moment to shine. We got, uh, you know, Devery Jacobs is a nice uh, did -did -did cousin. Mm -hmm. We got um, uh, uh, Geraldine Keems, who plays the um, the, you know, mother in law, the the terrifying mother-in-law yeah, and then the one that slaps Nathan in the face. We love that. 
um, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Julia Jones plays Sally. She's mm-hmm. the, you know, the, the bully. Um, uh, uh, and I mean, there's, uh, there's room for so much more too, oh because I, I think that, you know, we set up a kind of a world where, um, there's opportunities for Regan to make friends with uh, new people, you know, and, and to bring all kinds of family members into the mix. So, yeah, I mean, we didn't even really see Regan's family yeah. in the first season. Yeah. And, yeah. and so yeah, you barely even gotta... you barely even scratch the surface. You know what I'm saying? So. So, you, yeah. you know, everybody's like going, OK, when season two, when season two, that's probably the biggest question you're getting asked. Probably when season two, when season two, when season two, I would imagine one of the biggest questions. Uh, it's the question I'm asking. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to know if I have a job. <laughs> we want you to have it. I guess I'm going to wipe this thing off. It's all right. I'll leave it for now. All right. So, so um, let's do. Let's let's go ahead and share your social media. J a n a j a n a u n p l g d. Right. That's right. Okay. So I'm putting that in the chat. Jan unplug. That's on Twitter. That's on Instagram um that's your social media so that's what people want to see yeah and if you if you do um go to Jana's social media you will see brilliant wonderful fun things and unfortunately Jana, you can't hear it dang it i'm sorry but but i will <laughs> okay i mean maybe other people can hear no it, everyone can hear it except it's it's sadly it's oh. because it's connected to skype and and my it doesn't go to you dang it so i don't know that oh, is the, it's that fine. is the next as long step. as other people can hear it that's the next step <laughs> i gotta figure out here but so if you go to Jana's social media this is the fun stuff that you will see hit it hit it hit it hit it get it get it get it get it oh oh you can turn up your thing <laughs> I'm not as good as the guy is, all right? I'm trying. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> That's what you get, guys. That's what you get if you go to. Get it, get it, get it. Uh. Yes, my makeup team came in and, and hooked me up. Thank you, darling. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we're, gonna be... yeah, we're good. Okay, good. <laughs> so, uh, gosh, you know, I, as you guys know, or as some of you know, or may not know, that, uh, you know, Jana is going into this as a relative newbie in the acting television acting world but i mean you've certainly not a stranger to performance you know this is something you've been doing for a while you have been a comedian uh and to land this gig where you're working alongside uh you know mr terry thomas uh portrayed by michael gray eyes himself and you know, Ed Helms, my God, you know, that's, that is a gig to land. I mean, how, how often do you, is your arm covered with bruises from pinching yourself? I mean, I'm just like, yes, you know, is. cause they are just immaculate. Yeah. And then, and then of course, Michael, Michael Gray, I just got the Canadian screen ward. I mean, he is I the know. best actor in Canada. The girl that won it is Michelle Pfeiffer or woman. I mean, I just like, wow. So this is who you're working with. You know, I mean, I listen, <laughs> I, I, I am like beyond like be beyond. I'm just beyond. I, I don't know how to describe the feeling um, other than the two of them, Michael and Ed are both such uh, loving, lovely men mm-hmm. who are truly like have this entire time have been, you know, willing to mentor me and make space for me and, uh, you know, set up a rapport with, with me that, that is like an exchange of ideas. And I I don't feel inferior to them. I mean, if I 
That's were nice. left to my own devices, I would. <laughs> but they have made it so clear that, uh, you know, we're a team, we're an ensemble. And, um, and yeah, we just had such a good time together on yeah. set. It was just really a lovely experience. I ho- really hope we get a season yeah, two. Yeah, me too. I, and is everyone. I know that I have talked to is hoping the same thing. You know, it's it's really exciting. And then you, of course, got to work with Sierra Teller Ornelas. You know, uh, let's give Sierra a shout. Uh, she also made some history here. You know, for you know, being a showrunner at this this show, working with Ed Helms, of course, and Mike Shore. And if you guys don't know those names, Mike Shore is uh, you know very popular in terms of producing uh, for you know. Parks Recreation um, and other shows. Ed Helms, of course, you guys are probably familiar with him on The Office as well as other things he's done. So, you know, my gosh, my gosh, Jenna, you know, yeah. you've, you've worked with some incredible people already, you know. And the thing is, is the thing is, is, is I want people to understand, you know, we're sitting here, Jenna and I, having a really wonderful conversation you know, and my wife comes in and, and acts silly with me. And, and I feel literal joy doing this, you know, talking to you, (laughs) my wife coming in, being silly and fun. You know, these are some fun conversations you and I, and she, and everyone gets to have, I get to see these amazing people chatting with us, but behind this show right now, it was literally three, two and a half weeks, two weeks of, of exhausting hard work. I'm not kidding you. I worked very, very hard to learn the ins and outs and the in- intricacies of doing a live stream. Okay, why am I saying this? What does that matter? You know, you guys are like, I just want to watch a show. Can you shut up? But the reason I'm saying that is because people might think, well, Jana, boy, she sure is lucky. She just stumbled onto this show. You know, wow. You know, she must be really lucky that she got that audition. But see, I didn't just look at Jana's picture of, of um, you know, your poster in Rutherford Falls. I'm not kidding you. I went through your entire Instagram. I trolled it because I was curious about the stuff you've done, so I was going to ask questions. And I see this long trajectory of working hard, posting things about, and we and I mentioned this in the Instagram thing, of you post things about your rejections. And I'm like, and I see this trajectory looking at your career because you literally have chronicled your career through Instagram in many, many ways. Not, I'm sure not the full thing, of course, because our, our careers are long. But I see looking at you someone who really, really, really worked hard, worked diligently, worked exhaustingly, spent night after night after night perfecting what she was trying to do. And it paid off because I'll tell you folks, and listen to me, I'm not just talking to myself here. I'm talking to anyone who's listening. There is no such thing. It doesn't exist. There is no such thing as a get-rich-quick scheme. It does not exist. Every person who is successful, yes, there are those who get get successful by you know walking up somewhere and, oh, you're going to be famous. But to hold it and to hold that resilience is hard work. So I have no doubt that, Jana, you will continue to do successful, wonderful things as a result of your hard work. Would you share about that, please, about how hard work is the answer in so many, many situations for success? I I I, I grant your success to your hard work, and that's how I see it. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, I... I um I am proud of the the work that I have done uh not only all of the work that I have done has uh been like joyful it's been a, a pleasure to do it and I I really feel like if you're you know you're in the grind that you want to be in you know if you're if you're involved in the hustle in the space where you want to exist mm-hmm. then it doesn't feel like a hustle yeah. um yeah. so it really for many years didn't feel like a grind um until it started to and and uh so yeah i've really just uh take i guess i don't really know 
unless you're a person who was born from a legacy family or you have a shoe into whatever industry you want to go into, uh, you know, your grandfathered in or what have you, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. you're going to be, you're going to do the work. You're going to have to do the work. Um, and that's just the reality of the game, uh, any game. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm 39. I'm going to be 40 this year. Wow. And I just, got I would never, I would, I would have job, thought so. 20 something. Seriously. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Oh, God. <laughs> you stop. <laughs> Dolores. I'm serious. And who, who's, who, who's agreeing with me? Dolores. <laughs> I'm calling the producer. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I, that's well, yourself. I mean, you the, said the you're the reality. producer of this show. <laughs> I'm the EP, baby. I just call the shots. Uh, I deal with the funding. Um, but yeah, I think uh, ultimately it, it, all of my friends in this industry are the same age as me. You know, because, you know, Native people, we don't have those... Uh, we don't have those like <laughs> people in high places, yeah, right. and I'm gonna call. You know, I'm gonna just, call my <laughs> native uncle the executive producer of. It. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Never mind. Uh, d- don't exist. So um, except for except except for yeah. Sierra right now, her her nieces and nephews are getting an attitude. I agree. Sierra or Taylor or another sister, her nieces, and nephews, they're gonna be like, "Let I got <laughs> my aunt." Is- what are you saying, Donna? I agree with Vincent, and you totally do like look like you're in your 20s. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Okay. I I, I'm being honest. She does. And, I would have I said that. And what did you make up? Go ahead. What? We, we needed, what did I make up? Yeah, remember? We needed a black don't crack. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, my friends, my, my friend in the Army, Vince Eady, his name was Vince, too. And he was like, he used to always say, black this. don't crack, black don't crack. Because he's, 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 he's like, look. When we get older, brother, we don't age. So I was like, man, oh, that's a that's yes. a good one. That's a good one. So I have to think of one for native. So I was like, I got it. Native skin don't wear thin. I can't <laughs> I, I can't flick very well, but you know, <laughs> native skin don't wear thin. Babe. I even hashtagged it one time. Yeah. You hashtagged it right when you came up with native it. Native skin don't wear thin. That's right. So he yeah he he's he's a good dude. I loved him and and I was like, well, I need one. So then we made up one and we had a good time. So. That's it. Yes, and now we got yes. skin don't wear thin. That's right. And so, yes, you do look that young. So yes, she does. And you, the you thing can't is, help is it. It, I'm 42. I mean, I know you look like you're 12. You look, you look great. Right. <laughs> you know, and yeah. she, she looks look 12. Young. I know. Everyone thinks it. It's so true. It's true. Everyone's freaking out the, about the saying is true. Not a season two. There will be a riot. Yes, we want a season two very no, seriously, badly. They- hey, heretic! A five dollar oh, super oh. chat. That is my uh, we, first. Gra- we're, we also graduated. Yes, that is my first <laughs> ever super chat donation from a heretic. Five bucks. And you know where it's going? Oh, man. To your PayPal, Janet, because I promise. Yes, right. <laughs> I promised my first super chat would go to Jana. So I will be PayPaling you later this evening. Thank you, Harry Heretic. Oh my gosh. Five bucks. Wow. And and that says the first one to Vince in the channel, I think royalties to the EP. That's right, baby. The EP the EP gets the most of all of the people. Oh my the gosh, that's literally my, I'm, I'm sweating. That is literally my first ever super chat. I've never thought that would I I just never went there. So I am really you know what I'm actually really enjoying this uh this um live stream thing i think i kind of enjoy it so uh hey you know what i did yeah once you start to uh make some money <laughs> yeah five you get dollars. Real that five dollars like that, that know, <laughs> that's like five thousand views already <laughs> <laughs> so you know what i didn't ask you is how much time you have because i certainly don't want to keep you too long if you have other things going on i forgot i should have asked you that off the air but it's all right i don't no pressure it's okay whatever your time is because i didn't even schedule it for it so 
How are you doing time wise? Well, I if you have I, to go. No I problem. set aside a, I set aside an hour. Oh, okay, so great. We got till five. Sounds wonderful. All right, it's great. So we got twenty more minutes. Oh, it is. If you are on the East Coast, that's seven forty. So we got until eight p.m. And if you are in Pacific time, that uh, that will be till five. So oh my gosh, I'm excited. Well, that's great. So you know, um, all said, I. I appreciate you being available to to do this interview because that's exciting, um, and people want to. My pleasure. I mean, any chance I can get to be the first on somebody. Yes. How, how exciting is that, right? <laughs> so you know, I mean, the, and the thing is, too, is people really want to hear from you. People want to hear what's going on. People want to say what's going. On. And you guys, I really would like to ask you if you have questions. Please let's please let's ask, and I I will also check uh, yeah. my social media. Yeah, get, get the goss. I'm here for 20 more minutes. Yeah, Maybe, yeah. Let's... Nobody's asked me to spill any tea. Oh yeah, let's spill some tea, anybody? guys. Oh, oh, I have like I have like a hundred notifications. Literally, hold on. Okay, uh, taking any advice. Okay, it, okay. This person said, "Is Vince Schilling taking my advice and starting a native talk show? Am I his first guest? Find out today at four people." Oh, that's Jana. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's right i know i'm just i'm just teasing so all right all right okay oh i have i see a question please read it because i'm looking at my oh is it in the okay Jana? what has been your favorite scene oh great question Ooh, very good question mm -hmm, that's a great question um i there's a lot of favorite scenes uh the fa one of the favorite scenes that i'm in is the very first opening scene in episode eight, which is the casino conference mm. scene. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of scenes in that episode that I really like, but uh, I really like the opening scene where we're walking from the airport to the car. Uh -huh. I do love um, that. Because uh, it just shows how much of a nerd uh, <laughs> Regan is about yeah. getting any kind of fancy thing. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> and I, I love when you're but, in the car uh, and you're in the car, you're just all, yeah, loading your bag. stealing the like, gun. Like water in the gun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in in terms of shooting, um, one of my favorite scene, two of my favorite scenes to shoot. Um, one of them was the scene where Ed and I, or, or Nathan and Regan, go to see his aunt Joan okay. to get uh, to look in her garage, oh, and yeah. that whole scene where we're talking to her. Mm -hmm. um, I think I made Ed, I did, I made Ed break in that scene, and it's like the, really? uh, like, like a huge accomplishment wow. for me to make Ed wow. break. Uh, He's a scene. seasoned professional, and, too. Wow. I know. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I felt pretty cool about that. <laughs> and then another scene that was really, really fun to shoot is when Terry and Regan go uh, to see Ray's mom. Uh-huh. Uh, played by Geraldine Keems. Um, that was hilarious. Shooting that scene, we were laughing. We were <laughs> dying laughing. Uh, there are so many edits. There are so many... <laughs> It went on for so much longer. Like they they edited it down so much, but there was literally like minutes where he was just t telling, uh, he was just saying to Ray's mom like, uh, tell her tell her what you want to tell her, and she'd be like, your lipstick looks bad, and then he'd be like, your lipstick looks bad. What else? <laughs> and we just went back and forth oh my like that. God. And just, you know, so much fun. Gosh, they, so, yeah. they should have, you know, what would be awesome is they should have the outtakes on Peacock TV of the first season. Stuff like that is gold. I would love to watch I all wish. that stuff. I know. We got to let them I know. know that. I, I have all their emails. I'm going to be emailing them right after this. I'm going to be like, look, you need to do some outtakes. <laughs> So I'm excited because I know. because I I, I want to see outtakes. I want to see the season two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, I mean that's just what I want to see. So I'm excited about that. Thanks. All right, let's see. Anybody else? What is the cat's name? That's just Dolores's question. <laughs> this cat yes, let's see is the kitty. Wilma. What is it? She's she's my girl. Oh, she's Wilma. Hi Wilma. She's and licking then my, her foot. My boy cat is. I know she's she loves to sit by me. This is my beating table, actually, where where we're sitting. So well, let's see the beads. Let's see right the beads. Let's see the beads. I want to see some of the beads. Oh, <laughs> it's 
You don't gotta show them all. Maybe you can just hold up a bead. I can't. You can just hold up a bead. Oh, here, I'll hold up this. Oh, here's something that I I showed oh, earlier. Yes. The peacock that I beaded. I remember seeing that. That is so good. It's a little magnetic. That is so awesome. Brooch. I love that. Um, that is so cool. Yeah, but my other cat is uh, an orange boy, and his name is Shazi. Aww, that's sweet. That's really nice. All right, folks. If you have any questions, um, yeah, uh, Gerard saying yeah, the outtakes would be great. And um, Ronald says, such a good show. And he says, this is a random question, I know, but did you get your SAG card on Broad City? It's always cool to see the journey of people's careers. Much success to you, Jenna. And that's from Ronald. Thanks, Ronald. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Ronald, I don't know if you saw my uh, episode of Broad City, but I'm at the very end of episode three on season three of broad, broad city uh i play a camp counselor you know they offer you they they uh they offer you the opportunity to join sag when you do a very small like guest starring role mm -hmm. uh on on a show but it costs like thirty five hundred dollars to join the union really? and Ooh. it's a, it's expensive and and once you're in sag you're kind of uh only allowed to do sag mm -hmm level movies and tv so at my level at the time that i did broad city i was still like very much not auditioning or doing any kind of like professional acting right. at all uh and so i wasn't gonna pay the money and and only be relegated to sag work right. i was like i'll just do my own independent yeah, I, stuff I, so, I, I stayed yeah i got my sag yeah. card like this last year okay cool yeah and sometimes you'll just stay sag eligible for a while because you know it's expensive to join I, I'm SAG eligible, yeah. and I never took that leap because I'm just like, you know, I'm, I love I love being a journalist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. for everyone. So uh, okay, Wilma was my great aunt's name, and we have other things like that. So if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. I appreciate you all for being. Wow, I cannot believe. Tell the bingo. My mom says, "Tell the I, bingo." I just saw story, that. Tell the I don't bingo. Know what she's talking about? Tell the bingo story. Tell the bingo story. What was the bingo oh, that's story? that's your mom, Marie? That's my mom, Marie Schmier. Marie, how are you, Marie? You must be very proud of your daughter. You've got bragging rights. Oh, my God. Marie <laughs> and Jim Schmieding are coming to Los Angeles tomorrow to visit me for the weekend. Yay! Um, <laughs> uh, well, hello, Marie. I don't know the bingo story, but... Uh, I, maybe she's talking about when I did the bingo scene. Yep. Tell a bingo story. Everyone's got one. Well, <laughs> when we shot the bingo scene, it was very, very hot, and I was extremely sweaty. Oh, okay. And uh, I don't know. It was it was really fun. <laughs> I don't remember the story. Right. I ha uh, you know what? I have a bingo story here. Let me let me jump in for you. I have my here's my right, bingo right. story, Marie. I went to the Mohawk territory and all the elders were playing bingo and they also started serving like a bingo hall. yes they started well it's actually the senior center they were playing bingo and they started serving meals there and you see my my grandmother was in was in residential schools and she got scared when she got old and she actually moved to to california because she was afraid right and she never spoke mohawk to me because she didn't want her grandson to be Labeled an Indian and gets to we all know this histories, right? But so so I didn't know some of the cultural things in my community. Like in Mohawk culture, if you are offered food, do not say no, no matter what it is. So I was in the bingo hall or in the senior center and they said, Would you like would you like a lunch plate? And I was in the middle of doing something because I was trying to shoot a video and I said, No, thank you. <laughs> The whole place, the whole place froze, and the, <laughs> and the old and the elder goes, "If they offer you something, you're supposed to take it." And I said, "Yes, sir." And I went and grabbed it, and he goes, "He goes, <laughs> now give me that piece of pie." And I was like, "So you know, as much as they mess with me, that was also funny." So that's my bingo story of being scared out of my complete wits because I didn't know my uh, you know little in innuendos of my own community at that time. I'm learning still. <laughs> You know, but there, that, that was mine. Oh, <laughs> we've all been there. We have all gotten the old slap on the wrist from the elder. Uh, 
<laughs> my bro- my little brother had to was my grandpa was a uh, you know a, a native man and also a, a biology teacher. He had he was a botanist. He had a ton of pl- uh, trees and and you know fruit trees and fruit you know uh, berry plants and stuff in his backyard mm. and uh, um, among other things. And one time my brother was whacking a tree with a stick. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. Just you know <laughs> playing swords with a tree. And my grandpa came out and he goes, "You knock it off." And he goes, "Apologize to the tree." <laughs> My brother and I stood there and I was like, "He's off." And my brother apologized. To sorry, a tree. tree. <laughs> yep. But it makes sense sorry, to me. I would have been like, "Sorry, tree." So okay, okay. I have. <laughs> sorry, tree. I feel bad. So I actually do have a question um, because you have a very uplifting, gregarious, um, infectious joy about you you know and um i really i really genuinely genuinely mean that i'm, I'm saying that in a heartfelt way you are thank you Bob. <laughs> yeah i really mean that like you have genuine joy about you that is very uh, infectious and um but i'm curious now you can say this any way you want what was the turning point for you or what was that moment of like I'm in a dark place and I don't know if I'm going to make it but I got to keep going I, you know what I'm saying I mean because you had to make some choices somewhere where you're like you know I got to live right and happy ask Lisa's question I will after, after I will okay. I sure will I sure will yeah I see it okay um well I've had many points in my life like that um and but I guess right before I got staffed on this show, uh, back in like late 2019, I had I had quit my uh, my my day job and to focus solely on trying to write mm-hmm. and write for TV and um, and nobody was you know accepting my pitches and and I you know had been rejected from all the festivals and all mm. the all the you know script competitions and everything and so I was. I was getting to the point where I uh, financially couldn't sustain myself living in LA. Again, I didn't want to go back into teaching. I had like completely severed myself from that as a career. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I made the decision. I gave myself a deadline. I said, if I'm not staffed by uh, early spring of 2020, then I'm going to move back in with my parents in Oregon and figure it out. Like I was already planning to kind of do that because uh, it was just, it just became draining. And I, and I, and I didn't, it wasn't that I lost faith in myself. It was that I, I knew I would continue to write. I would continue to make stuff. That's just always been my, passion so Mm -hmm. i'll always be doing projects Mm -hmm. whether they're funded or not (laughs) and uh and i just couldn't afford to like live like this anymore it was just getting very expensive it's Mm. very expensive to be poor um because you're paying for everything out of pocket oh my gosh yeah and so it's so i i i sort of felt like i needed to to turn turn it in and and that's when um you know i got staffed I got told that I was going to get staffed uh, on the show, and so really, the the show. So some people may not know what that means to get staffed. What does that mean? Uh, it, to get staffed means you're hired as a writer. Right. right. Exactly. On the show. I mean, I've I've heard it yeah. a million times. I just wanted to ask in case people might say, "Oh, what does that mm-hmm. mean?" So to get staffed is be hired as a a writer, and usually they foresee that you will be doing it for a season, and likely if seasons continue, you would stay. Um, so, you know, I will read this, this question, um, from Lisa, um, oops, scroll down. So let me scroll back up real quick. I don't want to miss it. Um, but, um, where, where is it? I'm missing it. Hold on. Where'd it go? Sorry, Lisa, I lost your question. I'm trying to find it. Okay. There it is. Uh, but before, before I read Lisa's question, if you guys could do me a favor, because this is my YouTube channel. And I am really super excited about the things we're going to continue to do, um, you know. And I'm so honored that Jenna was my first guest of the live stream of the whatever this 
is going to be called <laughs> the Vince Schilling something, something, I don't know. But if you guys could please subscribe, if you guys could please like this video, and if you could hit the notification bell that tells you, because you'll get about, you know, an email a week, you know, and that tells you when. So if you could subscribe, that would be really, I would really, really appreciate that so much. Um, thank you so much. And thank you guys for listening and hearing from myself and Jana, because um, she gave of her time today to be here, and that is completely gracious, and I'm so, so grateful. So last question before we head out, because we got just about a little under five minutes, is Lisa Bennett Bolakaya, and Lisa, I hope that I said that correctly. Uh, she says, please get into the layering of inside jokes that are cracking up folks in Indian country. I was screaming when I binged the first three episodes, had to stop streaming to rewind several times, waiting on season two. So get into the la layering of inside jokes that cracking up folks in Indian country. Yeah, because there's a lot of layers in there. <laughs> and it's unapologetic yeah. in nice ways. That's right. Yeah, Sierra really, um, she really encouraged us to just go there. And there were five Native writers, mm. including Sierra. So half the writing room was Native. And, and that's really where you get those, what we would call inside jokes. But they're not necessarily inside jokes when it's all us telling them. Right. There are jokes, you know. They're, and, and that's why they are uh, readable to an audience. Mm -hmm. You know, our audience can understand them and can appreciate them because... Their, their experiences and jokes that we all share and um, and they're and they're universal you know I think that the the experiences of these characters are are broadly universal to to native people and non-native people but I think that we of course were telling a very uh, native story which meant that we are pulling from all of our experiences um, in Indian country. Yeah. Uh, in community and out of community and, and how how those like trials and tribulations have been for each of us. <laughs> and so, yeah, Regan, Regan is like an amalgamation of five different writers on, on the show, yeah, you know, and awesome. and all of the all of the locations are the same amalgamation, you know, and and Terry is our uncles. And, mm. and so all of this stuff is from personal experience. And that's why it feels resonant. Yeah. It does, and it does, and and the thing is, is is, and and you guys said this before. We, we were talking. Uh, we did the very first interview with you and Ed and Sierra and Michael Gray Eyes, and you guys were saying, you know, we have just barely scratched the surface of the humor in Indian country. You know, because this is stuff. This stuff is old hat, man. This is this is stuff we've talked about forever amongst each other. Yeah. So this is the first time we are seeing these jokes. You know, at a national television level. Mm -hmm. So you know, and there's just more yeah. and more to come. You know, I'm so I'm so excited right. about what this is done because no matter what, it's changed. The landscape has been changed. Period, and it can't go back because it is it has been um, it has been brought to to the level that it should be. You know, so. Um, I just want to say thank you so much, Jenna. And if if you have any social media or websites or anything you'd like to share, please do. Um, like I said, it's J A N A U N P L U G D. Wait, say Jenna unplugged. U N P U N P L G D. Thank you. <laughs> I should have had that. <laughs> written it's down. so. Why is that my handle? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I never thought I was gonna be on this like. Uh, well, change it to Janice. Change be it to Janice. Best, <laughs> best in Thai talk show. <laughs> what if you? What if you name it? Uh. Uh, something about like what you you always wear a tie. You always wear a vest. Well, I ha I've called um, my YouTube channel Native Guy in Best in Thai. So you know. I I don't know. I think you guys are on to something here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Native guy in a vest yeah. tie. I mean, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, I'm, I that's just what I've been saying. So. That's true. Native guy in a vest and a tie. Native, Native guy. Wait. Native guy in a vest and a tie. Talking. What about <laughs> Mohawk talk? Oh, Mohawk talk. Something with Mohawk talk. Mohawk talk. 
native guy, Mohawk it, talking it needs guy. Like a, it needs another <laughs> syllable. Yeah. It needs like Mohawk chuckle and talk. Yeah. I don't know. Some, I don't know. Mohawky yeah, talky. <laughs> Oh God! Yes, my uh, you know let's let's have a meeting tomorrow right. about it. That's right. You are EP now, so we'll, you are EP. We'll pitch <laughs> we'll pitch us several ideas and choose the best ones. My, my, that's right. Wow, people are just oh my God! I can't keep up with the I can't keep up with the chat. You guys are chatting so fast. Uh, <laughs> we love you all. Thank you for saying things. We love you a lot, and I love all you guys. Guys, really, I, I really do. I want to say thank you so much uh, to all you guys watching. Please subscribe, please like, and please hit the button. But more so than thanking all you guys, which I am extremely, extremely appreciative, I want to thank most of all uh, Jenna. Really, I really genuinely, genuinely mean it. You are freaking awesome. Uh, I really get. Um, uh like joy in my heart thinking about what you've been doing and what you are doing and what you will do i really really genuinely mean that from my thank heart you. so you are awesome and, thank you, and I, I, I appreciate you and i thank you for being on my show and gracing this show with your presence so i'm excited and you'll always yeah. be the first person <laughs> <laughs> listen we made this today. yeah buddy. Just, oh wait hold on hold on okay, hold on if i do it right Okay, if you have to hit your hand to the left, let me see. Away from the cat. Other side, other side, other side, other, other side, side. Other side. Ready? Okay, we have to. It's and, far, and clap. <laughs> oh god! The delay. We kind of got it. We wait. Okay, ready? All right, ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait. Red. Let's line it up. Here. Okay, ready? Oh, we got it. All right. Well, Jana, well, thank you so much. And my wife wants to say thank you as well. You were awesome. Love you, Jana. We appreciate you a lot. Love you, Dolores. All right. We appreciate you. Thank you. And, appreciate and, you. Thanks and for I having appreciate me. It. Absolutely. Thanks so much. All right, guys. Love you. Yep. We think you're awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening. Let's. I'm going to go to the end screen. And Jana was absolutely awesome. So, Yes, folks, here we are. We are at the end of the show. We did it. We made it. We had an awesome guest. We have a lot to consider. And I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. And I will be doing this again. Uh, I was earlier today, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this because I was so nervous about everything, but it all came together. I'm very excited. So, yes, I will be doing this again. I will be doing this because it's exciting. And I appreciate all you guys. And if you guys have any suggestions, please uh, let me know on Twitter. Vince Schilling, V-I-N-C-E. Schilling is S-C-H-I-L-L-I-N-G. Our lovely assistant, Dolores, is Del Schilling on Twitter. She was here a few times in the show. But please, guys, um, you know, leave comments on what you think we could do to improve or, or, or suggestions or thoughts on Twitter or comments here. And if you please could subscribe and uh, hit a like, and then uh, hit a notification bell. I'd appreciate you all. You guys have a great night. We appreciate you, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Ona from Vincent Schilling.